tie in the encapsulated control line to the DDV assembly and pressure test the connections using the surface control unit. Begin running the casing, adding a control line protector to each casing coupler. Lower the DDV into the well until the assembly is below the mud line. Cycle the valve into the closed position and pressure test system integrity. Open the valve and repeat pressure test. This introduces the well fluid into the flapper cavity. Apply pressure to both the open and closed lines using the surface control unit. This ensures control line integrity of the entire DDV system while running the valve to its desired depth. Run the casing to total depth. Circulate and condition the hole prior to cementing operations. Once the wellhead penetration has been executed, cycle and pressure test the entire DDV system prior to cementing. Cement casing as per cementing program. Immediately after cementing has concluded, cycle the valve closed and then open three times. This once again demonstrates the integrity of the entire DDV system, but also introduces displacing fluid into the flapper cavity. Run in the hole with drilling bottom hole assembly to a point 9 joints above the DDV. Install a marker sub into the drill string. Slowly continue in the hole until the bottom hole assembly is 9 joints below the DDV. Install a second marker sub. Both marker subs create a reference point for closing and opening the valve. Continue to drill forward following the drilling program. When a trip is required, strip out of the well using the rotating control device until the upper marker sub is at surface, indicating that the bit is 9 joints below the DDV. Continue out of the hole slowly until the lower marker sub is at surface. Slowly lower the bottom hole assembly until the bit is positioned one joint above the DDV. Shut in the well at surface so that the well is in a static state. Function the DDV into the closed position using the surface control unit. Slowly pump 2 to 10 barrels of clean fluid across the closed flapper. This washing procedure cleans any debris that may impede obtaining a metal to metal seal. Bleed off surface pressure and monitor seal integrity of the DDV. Continue out of the hole and change out the bottom hole assembly as required. Run in the hole with the new bottom hole assembly and position it 9 joints above the DDV. Cycle the DDV to the open position using the surface control unit. If pressure exists below the flapper, the valve will not fully cycle. Slowly apply surface pressure using the rig pumps and equalize the well bore above the DDV. At the point when equalization occurs, the DDV will complete its cycle to the full open position. Continue to strip into the well using the rotating control device and resume desired operation.